Hello, ENC. Welcome to Artsy. Today I'm at the Eyes on Main Street Art Gallery here in Wilson, North Carolina. It's a very beautiful art gallery, and we're going to be exploring some photography. So here's a fun fact about photography as an art form. Back in 1885, pictorialists, or photographers if you rather call them that, they pursued, they were on a mission to pursue photography as an art form. Some of them were Alfred Steiglitz, founder of the movement, Edward Steichen, and Clarence H. White, and so many more. I could name them all, but there's a modern day storyteller who has his own unique spin on this art form. Now I have someone that I want you to meet, George Freeney Jr. Hey George, how's it going? Good Sarah, how are you? I'm doing great. We are literally sitting in your gallery right now. How does it feel to look around you and see like all the work that you've done? Correct. I'd love to say this is my gallery, but it's not my gallery personally. It's um, the Eyes on Main Street organization's gallery that has hosted uh, my work. Um, I, I thank them for that opportunity to actually hang my work in the gallery. So um, you're looking at Beat Street Volume 1, which is a sub set of a larger um, installation I designed but this is a smaller one because of the space I can get this much work in. So. It's beautiful too and you know when I think of Beach Street I actually think about the 80s movie. Yeah. Is that what you were thinking about? I, I grew up in the 80s so yeah <laughs> I, I was an 80s baby and Beach Street is it plays off of that it kind of okay. plays off of, of me taking a trip through um, a, a leap of faith and coming back to photography and finding that uh, leap or taking that leap of faith and finding that desire and passion for my photography again. Hey guys, it's C and welcome back to Art C. George and I are having a groovy time, aren't we, George? Wonderful time. Thank you for coming. Yes, I'm loving this. This is great. So we have um, an example of AR reality, augmented reality behind us, right? Yes, yes. This is your work. This is my work. So this is an image I made in San Antonio, Texas. It's up the Riverwalk. Um, it's an image taken at night. It's with a super moon above it. Um, okay. And it's, it's a 20 second exposure, so it's a long exposure. Wow, so you said earlier that you really like to use like nighttime because then you can manipulate the light. That's correct. Um, like I said, growing up playing with the bright light, I mean, everything, you turn the light off and you make little glowing structures or glowing drawings. Um, photography for me at night is that. I can take that, manipulate that light, use the lights that are on vehicles. There's a boat that's going through this. So again, this is the river walk in San Antonio, Texas. It had a super moon that was above. Um, you, that's what's really creating that beautiful light in, in, in that particular image. But this is how I made that image. This is a great one that I love to show as an example because this was made, the image was made in 2014. Wow. The actual video that you're watching that's augmented and attached to this one was actually 3,000 images of long exposure shots that I had to use for a school project when I went back to school to get back into photography. Wow. Photography workflow, any old relevant video images that you have, you can bring those to your images and put them back in and place. And you can bring it to life. Right. Thanks for watching Artsy, where it's a matter of art, and be sure to come back every Thursday to see more on Hello ENC.